was a big old bear just staring at me. I said, bear, what are you doing in my backyard? He said, what? <laughs>chicken noodle soup put a soda on the side but but remix what is going on everybody j Yates here so today i'm going to be doing a review on a device that i picked up for the purposes of the review i know some people and you know when i say it out loud like that it really doesn't make sense like obviously i picked it up number one number two i'm obviously doing the video for a review however there was a time where i would buy something not for a review but to showcase it and highlight it for the store. It was something I was going to carry. And obviously that has changed, so therefore the intro, I guess, kind of just picked up where it left off. Not like anybody's going to remember that story because they can't even remember what they watched three days ago. This RTA is very, very unique. I'm not going to lie to you. I did kind of look it up when I bought it because, you know, I was on a, it was on a French Loom website and they showed like the little things. I said, well, what's this about? Because I'm always buying products that nobody gives a shit about. But I, I do it anyway because I feel like I have to remain relevant and this is the way that I do it through my pocket. I'm paying for fame over here. This is sealed and we will be opening this up together taking a look at what's inside putting a building you're letting me know my thoughts on the oh there there's another person here wait a minute it wait a minute savapo that's that italian company right savapo dorimo zapaterilla ballerina <laughs> wait what don't mind me new boot goofing who knows what that's from Zapaterilla wait, Zapaterilla Ballerina. Three payments. Wait, what? Ow! Flip it. All right, guys, what you're looking at is the Nibiru packaging right here. Nothing really on the sides. Keep in mind, high-end stuff. That's kind of the way that it is. But here it is on the back. Zapaterilla Ballerina, an original mod dog. S. Vapo. Usually you'll see it just like that. Sometimes you'll see it just like that. I believe that is a company out of Italy, and I'm not going to look it up because I really don't care. If you want to look it up and try to figure it out, then go for it. Keep in mind that this is not China Export. I know that a lot of people think that, but there are two different CEs. One is more of a Europe type of import stamp, and the other one is is closer together but looks very very similar so let's just open it up you can see that it is sealed right here pop this little jammy not really uh closed off too well though all right there we go open it up to get these little cups they are heavy that is solid as shit get your little propaganda Oh my goodness, Jay, read the manual. I'm not going to read the manual. You get some O-rings on the inside, some more O-rings, some post screws. It looks like a spring, and then I... Oh, I know what these are. These little things, not to be confused with post screws, are actually for the way that the airflow works. I do have a huge problem with that, which I will go over. And then, of course, you get... It looks like you get two more of these. These, I think, are called Asteroids. It's kind of a silly name. And then, of course, you get even more of them. What these things do, they're, they're essentially called asteroids, but they remind me of like little baby hockey pucks. These two look identical, I'm not gonna lie to you. To, to, to tell the difference between the two, whether it's the airflow port, the angle, I mean, they essentially look exactly the same. Now that is different than this, and then that is different than all of those. So this is a slope. Basically, they're chamber reducers, right? But this one here has got steps. That basically is saying that your air is too fat to work out, and then that will thin it out and make it a little bit better. Quite figuratively. You can see that the polishing on it could have been done a little bit better. But keep in mind, when you're using a step type of situation like this, it may work out well. It's going to be, well, not a super pain in the ass. You just take a paper towel, clean it up. But this is just not it. I would expect better machining, especially for the price point that this is at. Well, not even machining. That's a lie. More finishing than machining. Most people would probably use this one, which is the regular. I, however, am going to do the exact opposite and use none of these. Well, maybe I'll use this one, then move over to this one. But the airflow itself doesn't really change. You see, it's just kind of the shape. And then when you look at the other one that comes as a set of two, it's got a thicker sidewall, so it's even more of a reduced chamber, so that's mouth to lung. I guess it's a matter of dictating which one do you want to use out of these. I'll use this, then I'll try that one. I'm going to try the same coil in both. We'll pull the tank out, see if there's anything else on the inside. We are good to go. That is empty. And then here is the RTA. This is how you fill it up, right? Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. 
I don't know if I just put those fingerprints on there. I should have probably looked that up. Let's let's keep going around. Nibiru on the bottom again. Finishing. Not super clean. Not super polished. No dings, dents, burst, burst, cowboy boots. Except for a little minuscule scratch I thought I saw. I don't know where it went. But you fill this up, right? From the top. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to close this up. And then even doing that is not suffice enough. What? Oh, that's the scratch I saw right there. What they want you to do is actually line these up exactly like that. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And then right here, wow, that is very nice. So you see that airflow on the inside. We're going to go over that in a second. But the way that it works, you see? Oh, I don't know. That's like a, what is that, a potato chip? I, I don't know what the, oh, there it is. Ew. I don't even know what that is. Okay. So on the bottom to take the deck out is real simple. You just kind of turn this. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do, but that'll have to work. And then there's your top cap section. Again, look at the finishing. You see? It, it, it's not a $170 US dollar finishing. I can tell you that much. That is actually glass. Wow, you don't see that very often. But right here, I was trying to show you how to adjust this. So essentially what you do is you turn this all the way, and then this deck comes out. Now you see this right here? This is your bell cap, which essentially without the glass, bring the top back, this will go on here like that, and that's what it would look like underneath the glass. Again, finishing. It's just not very good. It should have been cleaned up a little bit better. You know, I have a problem is when you look at Chinese machining. See how clean that looks? They talk about how you want to line these three up, right? Now, I can see you, you don't want to do that because you got a little bit of a port. And you, you, even though that looks fine, and it is fine, you see how the O-rings are leaving a mark? There's a set of O-rings on the inside that I guess they just want you to line up perfectly. You see them right there? So lining them up perfectly, but I don't see that being that big of a deal because a seal is a seal, but hey, if that's what they want to tell you to do, then go for it. And then right there is the bell cap. Really nothing too crazy here. The bottom section, the plate, the bell cap, the chimney, and the whole section is going to adjust the juice flow. The airflow is independent in itself, and you have all these different airflow options, right? But you have to turn it all the way to the right, which kind of closes that off. And be careful that if it's on the mod, you go all the way to the right, you don't lift it up. Because if you do that, well, you just took the whole bell cap section off. I can tell you right now, it's not a very good design. Because as it may seem to make sense, right, I'm all the way to the left here. You see what's happening? Every time I turn this, it's actually unscrewing up here on the top. And then the bell cap. So, <sighs> terrible fucking design. This should have been reverse threaded. Because now you have to make sure that that is so tight on there. And it is glass that you don't break that glass. Because if it's not tight right? If it's not tight, you're not going to be able to adjust that juice flow without unscrewing this. I fucking hate designs like this. I don't know why they do them. Obviously, once you saturate this up, it'll make it a little bit better, but it's not a good design. What's also not a good design is they don't really give you a fucking tool to get that disc out of there right there. So I'm just going to kind of use that to pull that out you see how that worked but there is no allen key or anything inside of here so if you want to go with this guy which is kind of like a little bit of a conical shape very different from that one i don't know how different it is opposed to the other there you go yeah there is so this is more i feel like this is going to be more restrictive direct long it's going to remind you of that of an rda this is very very conical in a sense and then this one is stepped but we're going to go back to the default one because that's the one that was in it but you could see you could even use it without nothing but i really wouldn't as crazy as i am i wouldn't do that i feel like that's more airflow it's a bigger port than what this is but at the same time that that chamber is very very open and doesn't seem very consistent so we're just going to run with that one this little o-ring comes off but there's a little thing in here you have to be real fucking careful there it goes that guy right there this more more of that shit came out this little nipple or dingle hopper is is likely to be lost. This is the same friggin' thing that's in there that's extra. And what this does is kind of, I'll put that right there, but what that does, that allows you to lock the airflow in that little tick, 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 tick. You could, in theory, use it without it. You see? It's just very, very loose. It doesn't really lock anything in. But we're obviously going to put it back in, and, and I'm assuming that's why they give you two of them. 
Let's see if I can get it. Oh, there it is. First time. So we got to push that in somehow. While. Oh, there we go. So you got to push it in kind of with your fingernail, and then that allows you to. There we go. I'm going to leave that on the most open setting. That does look very, very restrictive. And then there's the deck. The deck actually has fairly good machining. Now, you have to be careful because that right there is only being held in by that little dingle hopper. And then this, you've seen this deck a hundred times, right? But what you haven't really seen is that airflow configuration. You see how that goes in? It's not directly underneath the coil. It's kind of at an angle. You see that? It's at an angle this way and the airflow coming in. That is unique. 100%, but that almost tells me to make sure the coil is a little bit closer to this edge than it is this edge. Don't put it through. I mean, I, I how minuscule is that? Very. And then on the inside there, I can't even see the damn screw. Of course, it's a flathead. Why wouldn't it be? All right, let's put a coil in there. Probably going to go 2.5 millimeter. This is, this is why I love flatheads. Okay, I'm, let's put a build inside of this. So once it's on, your best bet is don't try to turn it, push it down a little bit, kind of like the tripod in a sense, because if you don't push it down, that's not going to, and do, matter of fact, definitely make sure you kind of close that up a little bit, and let's open this up, put some juice in it, and then we'll bring it back on top. And that is the Nibiru RTA. Let's bring it on the top. All right, back on top with the Nibiru RTA, and that is picking up at a 0.95 all said and done. We're going to run that at 24.5 watts. All right, let, let's hear it. 24.5. Let's do it. Definitely restrictive direct line. Do not like the drip tip at all. Definitely restrictive. Okay. How's the flavor? What I'm going to do real quick, real quick, we're just going to push it down, turn it to the right to close it, pop it off, turn it upside down. Now we have to take this cup out of here. Hopefully I can do it through the drip tip. Oh, shit. This is my little special tool. Pop that up. I'm going to take that one off, and then we're going to try, and I don't usually do this. I'm going to use the one that's more sloped, the other one. Uh, the reason why I don't do this is because, well, I, I don't really like... Mouth to lung, per se. So now we're just going to put that on, turn it to the right. Let that wick a little bit because that's open. It is a little bit tight on the inside. I do love the fact that that is glass. Everything has been Pyrex, which is a type of glass. It's like a plastic in a glass. But then you've seen a lot of polycarbonate or this Ultim. When it's not really Ultim, it's just polycarbonate but dyed. So to use glass, and again, a high-end company, fantastic. I just hope that this is, in fact, it doesn't say where it's machined. Made in Italy. I thought my dog was Greek. That's on me. Okay, so now we're going to try this airflow versus the stock. Again, the problem is... Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. That, that actually has better flavor than the stock one. Now, this is a stock one, but it's not the one that's installed. It's the sloped one. Definitely better flavor. A little bit more restrictive, or it seems that way. Definitely more flavor. And of course, let's try the step out one because we all know that we all can lose weight at some point. So I'm just going to tell the air that it's a little bit too fat. And we're just going to kind of pop that one out. I do love the sound that it makes. Now we're going to go with the stepped jammy. Put that one in. I feel like this is going to be weird. Put that on. Push down, turn it, and um, see, I, I can tell you, check this out. This is the problem. I, I, I do have bubbles, which is good. It is bubbling, but the issue you have, you see how we have this little stuck situation? You see how tight it is? We have to do something to um, almost pop that bubble. Hold on. Let's turn it to the right. 
I can see why it doesn't leak. You know why it doesn't leak? Because fucking juice can't get in there. <laughs> it's so tight against the bell, it's not going to leak. So, uh, yeah, and that's dry as shit. I am using a little bit of a thick juice. We're talking about a 7525, so it's not really going to be designed for that. This is something. Every time you put this on, though, let this be a note to you. Every time you put this on and turn it, it's going to adjust your airflow. So you have to go back to the airflow and then adjust that ring. Because they don't they don't work independently. It kind of grabs it and just spins it, too. Okay. Okay, definitely not the best one out of all three. The, the best one is probably the second one, the more slow point. Okay, so mouth to lung, 100%. This is going to give it to you. X going to give it to you. This is definitely going to give you that mouth to lung hit, without a doubt. Without it. I mean, it, it's, and I'm using it wide open. Let's just for shiggles. You know, pop that out. I'm going to use nothing at all. I'm just going to go for it. Pop that out. Now we have no insert at all. Take that out. Put that on. Lock it in. And then, oh my God, is that annoying? Every single time you put that on, of course, how often are you going to be doing that? Not often, but every time you do it, like what I'm doing, it keeps on, and it keeps creating that fucking bubble right there. You see it? It's like right where the airflow is because it's so tight. They could have made it a half a millimeter bigger so juice could get down there. I get it. It's designed for thin juice. Well, you know what? You're okay. All that does is drown the flavor out. No more airflow, nothing, no, they're, they're, okay, it does nothing at all as far as performance. Well, I'm lying, it does do something for performance, but it just takes away from it. Yeah, that's no good, you need that bell gap, condense those flavor particles. Okay, so the idea of being able to take the tank off, like, I, I can swear to God, inside the video, I'll just plug it. They show the tank over the hand. The reason why is because... It's not leaking. It's not closed off. It's just juice is not going to go down there. So they probably use thick juice to do it. I get it. They can argue it. But the port is open, right? It's like taking VG and putting a pinhole in something. Of course, VG is not going to go. It's too thick. It's too viscous. So, no, it doesn't do that. I thought it was going to close it off, which it doesn't do. But it, it is what it is. Whether or not they're marketing towards that, how often are you going to really take the tank off to uh, Jimmy Jostle, that little shit? I'm going to tell you right now, what I also don't like is you take that little old, that airflow ring off, you lose that little dingle hopper, forget it. It's over. It's over. I mean, you do get two extra, but that's not the point. That's not a good idea. You could have put a ball bearing in there and made that set so that ball bearing sits. But, of course, that does require some very, very precise machining. Not saying that you can't do it. It's just other companies have done, I believe, the Typhoon does it with the GX. Um, yeah, it does on the top section. So there are ones. There's even Chinese ones. I'm, I'm going to just cut myself off. I don't know if there's Chinese ones that have ball bearings in it for the airflow adjustment. So that's really shitty. I don't know why you have to line up the top with the three lines. It does nothing at all. I mean, it, it all it does is just line up the O-ring so it takes up the whole board. That's it. It's not a bad tank. It's not machined terribly. Uh, the finish could have been a little bit better. You could have polished it up a little bit more nicer than what that is. But it's not just them. That's all high-end companies. The design, again, not super fantastic. I mean, it, it's unique. I don't know how people are talking about this thing. is fucking amazing. I, okay. It tastes terrible. Terrible. With no cone on the inside. I also have to comment on the wicking. Because the glass is so tight to the bell cap, it's not going to wick thicker juices. So you're going to have to run 60-40, 50-50. Probably 50-50 is going to be a little bit too thin. 60-40, maybe even like a 65. If you do 70, it's going to get really, really viscous, and it's not going to wick well. Wicking, not difficult. Putting a build in, super easy. We've seen build decks like this. Just make sure that when you do your build deck and you cut the wire, what I had to do is I had to pull out some of the fuse cleft, and so I could grab that to pull the wire down. I could have made it longer, but I cut it too short. It is what it is. I had to improvise. If I had to rate this device on a 0 to 10, I'm going to give it like a 3 or a 4. No, that, that's not fair. If I had to rate this device on a 0 to 10, let's give it a 5.5. It's, eh, yeah, 5.5 is good. It, the, the problem is I do not usually factor in price. And I'm not going to sort of, I'm just saying that for what this is priced at, I'm going to give it a 5.5. Not because it's expensive. It's just what you get for that price, if that makes sense. And then that little thing that you're going to lose, of course, it doesn't make it unfunctional. It's just going to really fuck shit up. 
So, yeah, 5.5 .5 is the most that I could do. I don't recommend you to buy this because it is very, very, very expensive. And for what it can do is not fantastic. I'm sorry for bringing up the expensive thing. I just thought that I was going to get so much more. I did get these little asteroids. Maybe I can bring it to the pawn shop, see how much that is worth. Like Joe Dirt. Give me a little real. Okay. I've kept it real. Have you? <laughs> 